Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using ColourPop's new Lunar New Year collection. I have some of their palettes here and I have their lippies, one of the highlighters as well. For the first look, I'm mainly going to be using these colors here. On my lids, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. I kind of know what I want to do with this look, but also I don't because I feel like I don't want to be repetitive with some of the looks that I create. So I kind of feel like, oh, I don't know what to do um, to make this more creative, but it's also very neutral. Like, well, there's, I feel like there's not too many options as far as neutral, unless, like, unless I did like a bunch of cut creases everywhere, but I also like, don't really feel like doing that. So I think I might do something similar to what I've already done. That's okay. First, I'm gonna go in with this. First, I'm gonna go in with this color called Au Naturel. To apply this color, I'm gonna be using my Morphe M514 brush. I'm gonna apply this right in the center of my eye in the crease. Just start working this in. I'm gonna kind of bring it in the front here, a little higher up in my creases. Now I'm going to go in with this color called Tease Me. I'm going to take this color on a Morphe M513 brush and I'm going to apply this on the edges of All Natural and just kind of like blend out All Natural a little bit more and just really smoke out this Tease Me color. And now going back in with All Natural, I'm just going to bring this back into the crease because it did get lost. I'm also going to kind of layer out the eyeshadow here. Now I'm going to deepen this look up with this color called HWY1, which I have a feeling that it's for Highway 1. <laughs> In the same Morphe M514 brush, I'm going to add this to my lid here first on the end here on this side of my eye. So I'm just going to kind of tap this into my lid and then carefully blend this out into the crease. Now I'm going to take this color called Feels and using the same brush, I'm going to add this to my lid as well, but being extra careful with this one because it's super dark. So I'm just going to focus it near my lash line, kind of blending it up a little bit into these browns up here. And then I'm going to softly bring it to the corner here. And I'm going to take a Spectrum A12 brush. I'm just going to tap it in and kind of like layer it out a little bit. And then I'll take my blending brush with with the black on it just to kind of like help me blend that out. Now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and clean up the tail. Now I'm going to take this color called Gold Star. I'm going to apply Gold Star with a A Cosmetics or Ulta airbrush shadow brush. And I'm going to put this kind of like right near the front but still leaving some space here for another color that we're going to do. And I'm just going to put it right here kind of tapping it in. Now I'm going to take this color called Butter Cake. I'm going to apply Butter Cake with this BH Cosmetics number 12 brush. And this color is actually going to go in front here next to this really gold color. I'm just going to slightly blend it up. And now I'm going to grab this pressed glitter called Duh. And I'm going to put this right on top of Butter Cake just to kind of jazz it up a little bit more. Okay, like that. And I'm pretty much done with the top now and I'm going to do my face and I'll come right back for the bottom part of my eyes. Okay guys, I'm back. I finished most of my face, but I figured I'd show you the other products from this collection. So for my lips, I did use the ColourPop Hocus Pocus Lip Liner from their Halloween collection and this is the Lucky Rat's Tail color. It's like a deep red and I'm going to take the deepest red lippy that they have for their Lunar collection and this is in the color Lion Dance. So now I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the color Lantern Best, which looks like this. It's a nice pretty gold color. I kind of swatched it already. And I'm going to take this highlight on a Morphe R31 brush. And I'm going to kind of just put it along my cheekbone here. I like to kind of put it in that area. 
I'm going to take that first color, All Natural, which looks like this, and I'm going to take this on a new Morphe M514 brush, and I'm going to put this underneath my eye here. I'm probably not going to use that color Tease Me just because my eye, it's already dark underneath here since I'm not using a base underneath my eye, so it's not going to really make much of a difference anyway. Next, I'm going to go in with this color called Highway 1 using the same brush I'm going to add this throughout the bottom as well to deepen it down here Now I'm going to take this color called Veils. I'm going to apply this color with my MAC 212 brush. And I'm just going to place it right underneath here, really close to my lash line. And kind of bringing it down a little bit with the brush, just tapping. And taking my blending brush that I used with the other colors underneath here to smoke it out. Now I'm going to go in with a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. And this is in the color Extra Frosting. And I'm going to just apply this in my my waterline. Now, last but not least, I'm going to take this color called Full Expose. I'm going to take this color on a Morphe M507 brush, and I'm just going to add this to the inner corner of my eye as a highlight. Okay, now I'm going to put lashes on, and I'll come right back for the finished look. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I think it turned out really, really pretty. Pretty. I love these lashes with this look. This is the Glam Light Gingerbread Lash. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!